Hello and welcome to the last episode in the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. The series is officially over. I will, however, be posting some videos here and there if I feel certain topics need to be covered for future videos. However, now that the series is over, what exactly do you do to improve yourself? Like many of us, including me, we started not knowing much, but our end goal is to have a complete foundation with the ultimate goal of getting into a higher level understanding of game programming. Now, no matter what you do, no matter what language you learn, and no matter what industry in computer science you want to achieve, programming at its core is basically problem solving. So since programming is just problem solving, and because that is the case with game programming, let's go ahead and take a look at what things you need to learn in order to improve your ability to solve problems when it comes to game programming. So once you've learned a programming language and you've picked your framework, basically once you've learned GDScript and once you've understood your framework, in this case Godot, the next best thing to do is to refresh everything you know about with math and physics. So with math you want to get into geometry, trigonometry, and if you are able to and have time, brush up on some calculus and on physics, try to learn the formulas for speed and acceleration. Now, if you can only pick one thing in the section of math and physics, it would be learning graphs. Just learn Cartesian planes. Learn how to manipulate data points on an X and Y axis, because that's all game programming is. Game programming is just manipulating objects in a Cartesian plane. If you can understand that, you can do about 80% of game programming, no problem, with a strong programming language foundation and a framework foundation. Now, once you've brushed up on your math skills, I recommend the next thing is algorithms. Now, normally when you're doing programming in other areas, such as web development, algorithms is not that important. However, you've chosen game programming, and game programming is math heavy. So trust me when I say this, you will benefit a lot when it comes to algorithms. So go ahead and Google different types of algorithms, learn it inside and out, at least have a general foundation of the common algorithms you may find yourself needing or using in game programming. And then once you've gotten a grasp of algorithms, the next best thing to do is programming patterns. Now, programming patterns are just different techniques programmers have developed over time to help solve certain problems. And there are quite a few programming patterns that do help you in game development. A few patterns that will help you in game development is the factory pattern and the command pattern. Those are just two. However, there are many more programming patterns that will help you on your programming journey. Now, if you have a basic foundation of programming languages, your Godot framework, a basic understanding of algorithms, at least a basic understanding of geometry, and basic understanding of programming patterns, trust me when I say that you can build 90% of games out there. The other 10%, you'll have to learn about HTTP calls that can be easily learned. So this is just an overview of the things you should be trying to learn in your programming journey when you want to get into game programming. Now, the Godot Tutorial YouTube channel will try to focus on all five of these areas. However, this channel is new and we are not there yet, unless you are from the future, where we do have videos that cover these topics, in which case please feel free to watch those videos. However, until we do have those videos, or rather until I have those videos uploaded, make sure that you actively learn. So watch other YouTube channels, read articles, and most importantly, practice what you learn when it comes to algorithms, basic math, geometry, and programming patterns. That's all I have for you in the last episode of the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. Thank you for watching through the entire series. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for clicking the like button. I look forward to seeing you in the next series. Have an amazing day.